What if I told you that the chances of seizing your opportunities, that your chances of seizing your opportunities skyrocket when you're not a prisoner of alcohol? You know, I don't have any research papers to back this up to prove it, but it's just logical, no? You know, the opportunities in life of someone who's never put a drop of alcohol into their mouths, they're just likely to be a lot higher than those who drink regularly, right? Like I said, I've got no proof of that, of course, but it makes sense, right? You know, if you've um, got a reward think in mind, if you're actively thinking and planning your own future, and you put in the work in to, to make those things happen, then you're gonna be miles ahead of anyone who um, is in a si similar situation to you, but who drinks, who drinks alcohol, or takes any other drugs for, for that matter. You know, life's currency is um, what you spend in life is time and energy, right? They're two of the biggest currencies in life, you know, personal currencies. You can only spend your time once and then it's gone. Same with energy. Um, they're both non-refundable and they're non-renewable, right? Um, it's about choices and it's about trade-offs. You know, what you choose to spend that time on, there's always going to be a trade-off um, to not being able to spend the same amount of time or the same amount of energy on something else, you know, on everything else that you could spend that time and energy on, right? So think about when you're drinking. You Not only are you spending the time and the energy in the moment while you're drinking, but you're also spending future time and future energy in the recovery, in the hangover, in the brain fog that you're left with once you stop drinking, in that reduced capacity to think straight or act straight. You're actually mortgaging your own future time and mortgaging your own future energy for the sake of what? Piddling drunkenness in the present. If you're wondering what that noise is, it's, uh, there's a lot of horses in the background with bells on them. There's cows down in the field as well, and they've all got bells on them. So now, what I'm saying is it doesn't mean that anyone who doesn't drink, that they're by default going to be maximizing their time and energy, right? Um, people get stuck in all kinds of behaviors, all kinds of habits, all kinds of addictions. Some might be stuck in front of their screens, immersed in some kind of a virtual world. That's going to be happening more and more, I think. Um, maybe they're binging on their favorite TV shows. But here's the difference. When you start to unplug yourself from alcohol and from the instant gratification thinking, it's hard work. There's a lot of thinking to be done, that's for sure. But you get to make conscious choices, choices that are driven not by an addiction, but by what you want to do, by forward thinking and sort of applying yourself to get those things, you know, to make those things happen. Now, the biggest par uh, comparisons I can make are from myself, from my own life. Um, they're from looking back at what I was doing when I was young, before I stopped drinking alcohol, all throughout that, that time that I was drinking. Um, and what I was doing when I was drinking, before I stopped drinking, and then I can make those comparisons with what happened in my life once I stopped the alcohol, right? Everything changed. Even in those first few months um, that I stopped drinking alcohol, I noticed just massive changes in my life. You know, in the first year, I remember saying that I'd done more in that first year, in that one year, than I'd done in the last 10 years combined. And that's some admission, right? You know, I mean, it's bittersweet for me to think about those kind of things. You know, you, you're happy with, um, you're happy that you're making all this progress in your life. I'm, I was happy that I got to year one and I was making all this progress. But I was also thinking back to um, imagining what I could have done if I had stopped drinking 10 years before, what I could have done where I would have been at the end of that 10 years instead of one year. You know, and it's only when you stop doing that, that, you know, you, you can really start to think these things. Now, you can't do that. You can't go back in time. It is what it is. So there's not much point in this kind of backwards thinking, right, in this type of regret. Um, but I think the freedom, the clarity, the progress that I experienced in that first year, it just really affirmed that I was doing, um, that what I was doing was right. I was on the right track. 
right? So it's not about regrets. We've all got regrets, my friend, right? Regrets are a part of life. Regrets for me are the messages that you tell yourself. So hopefully you won't repeat those things that made you regret in the first place, right? They're the messages that spur you on to make the changes, um, to always focus on moving onwards in your life, moving onwards and upwards, right? So the past is, for me, it's just a stepping stone. It's not a hitching post that you have to tie yourself to and you can't change that once you're there, you're, you're there. You know, I heard Tony Robbins talking about this saying that you, once you get to the present, it doesn't mean to say that the next step that you have to make has got anything to do with the steps that you took before you, that you can change everything that you do, right? You know, it's up to you now to, to sort of write a new chapter in your life and the chapter that you're writing now doesn't have to be based on the stuff that you've done before. Now, I'm a decade alcohol-free at this stage and where I am without alcohol in my life, it's like living a completely different life. It's completely different, right? But it's like living in a completely different body. It's like living with a completely different brain, completely different mind. And with every year that goes by without this poison in my life, I continue to see myself in, in um, just a fresh light, in a, in a new way. Nothing compared to what I, even if I go back to looking at, at the videos that I did uh, 10 years ago, when I started out on this journey, or a year after that, or two years after that, I see the changes in, my, in myself, see the changes in my thinking. I see my whole life in a new light. You know, I'm, I'm expanding on the things that I believe are possible for me. Um, I'm living a life that I, I could only have dreamed of living when I was drinking. And it's not even true to say that because when I was drinking, my mind was in such a state my mind was in such a fog that I couldn't have even dreamed this stuff. I'm surprised, I continuously surprise myself uh, about the things that I'm capable of doing, right? Not just because um, I've learned a lot of stuff, but because of um, the capacity for change and what that does to you as a person and how it changes your, your whole outlook on life. So embracing a life without alcohol, it isn't just about leaving the drink behind. It's a journey of taking 100% responsibility, 100%. You have to take 100% responsibility for everything that happens in your life. Same goes with your commitment. It's a journey where you need to have patience, you need to persevere, you need to keep positive about yourself and your future and what is going to unfold if you put that work in. And maintaining perspective, it's about focusing on what matters. and leaving behind everything that doesn't matter in your life and there's so much in your life that doesn't matter right so are you ready to take that first step to get sober and then to really start to unplug yourself from this kind of destructive thinking you know that's the question you have to ask yourself if you need help there's a link down below this video for our free course um, a guide to becoming and staying sober. It's a solid starting point for what we teach in our full program. And if you want my help, a much more structured and sustained level of support, um, you'll consider joining our program, Habits V2. It's where I spend most of my time, spend most of my time and energy, and together we can take this one step at a time. So take care of yourself, onwards and upwards. Bye now.